there's what we call or what they call a Baptist church, but that is not a nationality, okay? So we're going to tell you what your nationality is. What is your father? Who is my father? Yeah, what nationality is your father? Uh, he's Jewish, right? Your father's a Jewish? Oh, you talking about my dad, my real Yes, your real uh, father. I, don't know, I never said that, man. I got a church. Okay, okay. But my, what my, nationality is he? Christian. He's black. He's black. Okay, okay. That's what I want to hear. So when you read the Bible, there's no there's, there's no uh, a description where the Most High called our people black. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. So most likely, you probably come from the tribe of Judah. Right. The Jews are black, not the Jewish. All right? Give me that in Jeremiah real quick, because that's one of the misconceptions that uh, our people have as well. We call ourselves black. We call ourselves African-American. None of those words are in the Bible, okay? okay? So, read that. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Uh -huh. Judah mourning, and the gates thereof language. Uh -huh. They are black unto the ground. So the Bible says the Jews are black people. So, you, been, you watch the news? Yes. So what's going on in the news right now over in the land of Israel? Are they at war with, um, with Gaza? With Gaza. Gaza. Yeah. So what color are the people that are over there occupying Israel right now? They white. They Jewish. white. Read that one more time. Judah mourneth and the gates thereof language. They are black unto the ground. But yet the Bible says they are black unto the ground. Read. Black unto the ground. And the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. No. All right. So now you know right now, according to the Bible, that the real Jews are black people. Yes. Black people. So if you look to this sign over here on the left, where do you identify yourself at over here, brother? Yeah, Judah. So the They're tribe the of Judah. Okay. All right. So we just read the scripture in Jeremiah, and it said that the Jews were what again? Black. They were black. That's right. So let me ask you this: Who is the greatest nation of people on this planet? The U.S. The blacks. The blacks. Yeah. So is it ironic that the greatest people on the planet, where do we sit? Do we sit on high or do we sit at the bottom? At the bottom. Why? We've been oppressed. We've been oppressed, okay. Do you know and do you have any idea why? To be honest with you, uh -huh. like I'm starting I'm just starting to get into this because I seen the, um that picture and the president of Russia had a picture just like that. Uh-huh. The original royal family. Right. And they were black. And he was black. And You're probably talking about the book called The Russian Icons, all right? Yeah. Because you know why? You know why that is? Because guess what? For over a thousand years, we ruled. So, black people ruled. They were called the Moors at that time, but... See, but, I, I know about the Moors. Right. So, how did, how did they go from a whole nother country, this man, a black man, mm -hmm. and a black Raw your family to this, this white. To him being white, yeah. okay. And we're gonna read that. Go ahead and give me do that uh, Deuteronomy uh, uh, twenty-eight. Because guess what? There's a certain there's certain things had to happen for all this stuff to take place. Us losing our nationality, us losing our customs, our heritage. Certain things had to take place. We don't we don't sit at the bottom just because we're black. That's not why. That's a misconception in the earth that that we're black. First Maccabees. Go to, okay, go to 1st Maccabees 3. We'll answer your question right off the bat. 1st Maccabees 3 and 48, I believe it is. Because guess what? Because of our sins, because we don't keep the commandments, certain things happen. Go ahead and read that. This is the book of 1st Maccabees, chapter 3 and verse 48. Uh -huh. And laid open the book of the law. So start right there. So there was a certain people that laid open the book of the law. And what did they do? Wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. So the heathen, or the so-called white man, started to do what again? Sought to paint the likeness of their images. So they started to, they went into our books, and they started doing what we call iconoclasm. Meaning they opened up our history books, and they started painting, uh, they started whitewashing all the images, right? Yeah. So in the 1400s, which is called the Renaissance era, that's what began to happen. But here again, that only took place because we as a nation of people, who are God's chosen people, we don't keep the God, we don't keep the commandments of God. Right. Now go to Deuteronomy. Go to Deuteronomy uh, 28. Because like I said, yes, we sit on the bottom. Yes, there's images all over the world 
of a white man that's depicted as Jesus Christ. But, why did it happen? Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Bible says certain curses will, will become will come up on a certain nation of people if they didn't do what? If they didn't follow the, the, the they, they way. They didn't keep what? They word. No, say it. Read one more time. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to this to observe, to do all his commandments. All his what? His commandments. All his commandments. Read. And his statues, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So start right there. Now read verse one in the same chapter. Because I'm gonna show you that, hey, we had a choice. We had a choice. Read verse one. Verse one. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Meaning that if we would listen to the voice of the Lord our God, read. To observe and to do all his commandments. Stop. What do we have to do to be on top? All his commandments. To do what? Yeah, all the, all the commandments. Yeah. Read. Which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations so, of the earth. So here again, you hear people say that, hey, you know what? God loves unconditionally, right? So based on what we just read, is that true? Yeah. That's not true. He loves unconditionally. He does not, he does not love unconditionally. Because we read in verse 15, it said, he will put what on us if we didn't get curses? curses but I know, I, know I know you're a vengeful guy too yes Please. yes yes Like here's one of the commandments that we break all the time. What is to, what is today? Do you know? Um, Sabbath. Today, and you know it's the Sabbath day, right? How do you know that? My, my uh, I got folks that's like Yahweh follows a Yahweh. And okay. I, just, I, I know today is the seventh day of business. So I know today is okay. Okay. The okay. The Sabbath day instead of Sunday. Right. Right. So the Sabbath day is a day of what? Rest. Rest. So if you out shopping, are you resting? No. Are you out shopping today? See what I'm saying? Yeah. Give me uh, James 4 and 17 real quick and then come right back to that. Because guess what? A lot of our people know these things, but guess what? They won't hearken to the commandments regardless of what they hear. James 4 and 17. This is the book of James chapter 4 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Therefore to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, uh -huh. to him it is a sin. So my brother, you already know that today is the Sabbath day and you know it's it's a good work to keep the Sabbath, right? Yes. What are the what what things apply to the Sabbath? You know that there's no that you shouldn't rest. I mean that you should, it's a day of rest, right? Yeah. Give me that in Nehemiah. Here's some other rules that apply to the Sabbath that our people don't know. Is it is it the same like the uh, like the, the other rules like no electronics and all that? Like, no, it, it, no, it's not that far. We're gonna read it. Nehemiah 10 31. Nehemiah 10, 10, because here are the rules that apply to the Sabbath. Hey, my brother, how y'all doing? Y'all know what today is? Today is the Sabbath day. That's right. Do you, do you believe in the Bible, sis? Step on out for a minute, because we're going over rules that apply to the Sabbath. Because all of our people, you can ask, I can ask 50 out of 100 people, or maybe 90 out of 100 people, all of them going to say, you know what, I believe in the Lord. I believe in Christ, but guess what? We say we can, we, we, we say these things with our lips, but we don't do. Read that in, in Nehemiah. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. Uh -huh. And if the people of the land bring web or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. So all the business that you see over right now, Brother Ricardo, 
it says if the people of the lands or the people of the other nations, they if they bring out things for you to buy on the Sabbath day, read, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day, that we would leave the seventh year and the exaction, exaction of every debt. So guess what? That's a law. And we're not so there's not supposed to be any buying or selling on the Sabbath day because it's a, it's a day of what? Rest. It's a day of rest. I got a, I got a chance to go to um, Africa last year for two weeks. Okay. And I was in Cairo. Cairo, okay. And Cairo, that's in Egypt, ain't it? Yeah, it's, it's in Egypt. Okay. And on they on they Sabbath, uh -huh. I'm about the, the the whole time we there was like people everywhere, horns honking, just crazy, right? Right. And on that Sabbath, just quiet. Like when I, when okay. I tell you, they strict, like to the T. Okay. So I got a lot of tattoos and stuff. Right. And our tour guide, like everywhere we went, I had to cover my tattoos up. When I tell you, they okay. They strict, strict. So I right. I, I get where you. Where'd that from. custom come from? Right. From from the Bible, right? There. Read that for me. And uh, and uh, what is it? Uh, Leviticus five and twenty one. Tattoos oh, or the cutting of the flesh. Hey, hey, Read that for me real quick. 21 and 5. I'm sorry. Leviticus 21 and 5. You know, it's crazy when they show the Egyptians, they always look like Persian people. Uh huh. But when I got done, they, they were just like this. Okay, so it's guess what? Because you know what? The so called Hamites or the sons of Ham and okay. the Shemites, which is us. Yeah, we have we we have a similar look, yeah. but guess what? We are not the same people. Not the same people. You ever see a person that comes over to America that's from Africa? How do they act towards us? They don't like us. They don't like us. Why? They 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 said we lazy. We we don't work hard. We. And yeah. that's not true because guess what? We built this country, right? Mm -hmm. Four hundred plus years of free labor, so. That's a misconception as well. We're not lazy. Go ahead and read what you got. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. Uh -huh. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard, uh -huh. nor make any cuttings in their flesh. So that goes into those tattoos like when you were over in Cairo. That's a commandment because we're not supposed to tattoo our skin. We're not supposed to make cuttings in our flesh. We're not supposed to be marring our beard. Those are laws, those are the laws of God. And guess what? Our people say they love God, but these are things that we don't do. These are things that we don't do. Give me Luke 6, 6 and 46 real quick. Because our people, for the most part, are hypocritical. They'll say they love the most high. They'll say that all is well in Jesus Christ, but do we do what the Bible says? We don't. Read that. This is the book of Luke. Chapter 6 and verse 46. Uh huh. And why call ye me Lord? So this is Christ talking. Anytime you see red letters in the Bible, this is Christ speaking because our people, when well, the first thing they do when they get in trouble, what do they do? Oh, Lord, help me. Lord, this, Lord, that. That's what they scream out. Lord, help me. Read. Lord, and do not the things which I say. So this is Christ's response to our people. Why are you calling me Lord, but you don't do a damn thing I say? Lord, that makes us. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. Give me Mark 7 and verse 6. How you Look doing, it up. brother? What's your name, man? Joe. Brother Joe, okay. You know what we teach, though? Kind of? Huh? A little bit of it about the Israelites? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Israelites. Read. We're going to finish the verse and I'll deal with you, okay? Read that real quick. This is the book of Mark, chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh huh. He answered it and said unto them, Well, had Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, mm -hmm. as it is written, this people honoreth me with their lips. So guess what, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, our people honor the Most High with their lips. Would you agree to that? What's your name again? Joe. Brother Joe, would you agree that black people, we honor the Most High with our lips? Meaning we say we love God, we say all is good in Jesus, but what do we do what God says? No, not all of us. Most of us don't, right? Yeah, all right, don't. finish it out. But their heart is far from me. Meaning their minds, their minds are far from the most high like today. Today is the Sabbath day. And you may not have known this, Joe, but the Sabbath day is a day of what? It's a day of rest, right? 
Yeah. Are you out shopping today? Okay, okay, okay. A lot of our people, like like we said again, read it one more time. He answered and said unto them, Well had Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. So Christ is calling his people, his chosen people, hypocrites. So now we're gonna go back, we're gonna go back and do some history, all right? What is your nationality, Brother Joe? I'm a black African-American. Black African-American. Can I find a black African-American in the Bible anywhere? In the Bible you read. I've never seen black African-American in no Bible. In the even, in the, days, even in the yeah, ones where the they days. take scriptures out, I've never seen it. I've never seen black African-American. Give me that in Exodus. Probably not the word, but Okay. So, but the important thing, like I was bringing to my, my brother right here, we know that we're the greatest nation of people on this planet, right? Yeah. Why do we, so why is the greatest nation of people on the bottom? That is the million dollar question that we you always have to ask ourselves. Really, you really want me to answer that? Yeah, I want you to answer that. Bad, these white folks got us on the bottom. You know that. They brought us way along with you. thought we was going to be on top of being able to get ahead if they still in charge and still on top of controlling us and doing all that. Okay. we are never be able to get on top of You're probably right. right. You're probably right. Go back to Deuteronomy 15. <laughs> now, I'm going to show you, Brother Joe, all right? But if we can, please inform me because I'll be okay, on the Okay, that's, that's exactly what I'm going to do because guess what? It, we on the bottom is for a specific reason. It's not just because we black. Yeah, we hate it, but certain things occurred where the most high, he was the one that put us on the bottom. You can blame the so-called white man. Yeah, he gonna, get his, he gonna get his just punishment, but guess what? Certain things that we did as God's chosen people is what created our condition today. Read that. Yes. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Listen to this, Brother Joe. Read. In verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, the Mo our, your forefather, our forefather, Moses, he prophesied these things to happen to us Later on in the latter times, and later on, thousands of years after he spoke this, he said there'd be certain curses that would come on a certain nation of people if they didn't do what, Joe? If they didn't hearken, whatever that word If they didn't hearken, the word hearken means to listen. Yeah. Meaning that if they didn't listen to the commandments and keep the commandments, read. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments mm -hmm. and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So a question for both of y'all. Are we a cursed nation of people or are we a blessed nation of people? I think we're blessed. We just had the fact the, the shit in the stick. <laughs> How are we blessed? Look, I want you to, I mean, be, be honest. Look around. Look at look at the condition of our people. What's in our communities? You got single parent homes. You got drugs. You got prostitution. You that's got a, hatred. That's a personal choice. You got murder. Them, that's a personal choice. You're right. I can get mad as hell at somebody. I'm, I'm from the streets. I can right. get mad as hell on somebody. I ain't finna just shoot you, man. Just cause you feel me. He from a different set or I don't right. know him, but just cause he stepped on my shoe. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's a personal choice at the end of the day. You know I agree I mean? with you. It is a personal choice, but guess so what? So that's why a lot of our people is down still at the bottom. Okay. Know? And the ones of us that's trying to make it and actually trying to do good, we up there. We just need everybody else to follow suit. Right. Right. Read uh, 28 one. Verse one. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So now, Joe, the flip side of what we just read in 15 is this, read. To observe and to do all his commandments, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So you got the flip side of it. If we kept the commandments as a nation, not as an individual, Joe. Yeah. 
as a nation because guess what? God gave us laws, statutes, and commandments on how we deal with one another. Right. So guess what? The Bible says thou shalt not kill. The Bible says thou shalt not steal. The Bible says thou shalt not, you, that you can't uh, have sex with a woman that's not your wife. Right. All these things that the Bible, that the Lord gave his chosen people, we don't do none of these things. So as a result of that, that's why we are on the bottom of society. Because remember, it says that if we kept the commandments, we would be where? On top. On top. On top. Now go back to uh, uh, Deuteronomy 15. Let's go through the curses for, for both of them. So we literally, we literally yes, read the 16. From the beginning. Say that again, brother. So we, we literally cursed ourselves from the beginning. Exactly. That's exactly what we did. We cursed ourselves. We cursed ourselves, bro. Read. Verse 16, uh -huh. cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. So the question is now, what time in history were we as a nation of people cursed in the field? Uh, Ricardo. Uh, 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 back in, in, in Egypt, in Cairo. The, no, no. Ooh, more and more recent. Oh, slavery? Yes. So slavery. What were, we, what were we doing out in the fields? Instead of we would be cursed in the field, what were we doing out in the fields? Yes. 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 Yeah, we were trying, yes, yeah, some of us tried to escape, but what was going on? It says, read it one more time. Listen to the words. Listen to the words. How you doing, bro? This is my brother. Okay. Read it one more time. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Uh-huh. So, hold on. We've already established the fact that we are cursed in the city. Would you agree? Are we cursed as in the city as a nation of people? Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. So at what time in history again were we cursed in the field? Who, who was out in the cotton fields? Our foremothers and forefathers. You know that happened down here in Alabama, right? Bring it up. Mississippi, Louisiana, that right. was us. This is Bible prophecy that actually happened. That's right. Moses said this was going to happen to us. This be this was prophecy then that became what? History. It's still happening now. History. And it's still happening now. Read. Cursed shall be thy basket and cursed sh and, and thy store. So that goes into monetary money. That goes into the our, our children. It says, cursed shall be the fruit of our basket. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!